Hey Pew Crew, welcome back. We just landed at the Orlando International Airport, ran downstairs, and grabbed our bags. In today's video, we're gonna take you with us on our journey from the airport to our on-site hotel, yeah. and then all the way into the park. Yeah, so we get a lot of questions about like how this process goes, like, Everybody knows how to get to the airport, but then they wonder how we get from the airport to the hotel and then what the check-in process over there is like. So we're just gonna do a video covering it all. There are a few different ways that you can get from the airport to your on-site hotel. The way that we have found to be the most cost-effective for us is to take a ride share like Uber or Lyft. And Uber or Lyft is typically gonna be somewhere between 20 and $30 each direction. Universal does offer a shuttle bus that you can take called the Superstar Shuttle, but that shuttle is $40 per person round trip. So, like I said, the Uber is typically a little more cost-effective for us personally, but if you are traveling by yourself, we would probably recommend booking that shuttle to lock in those rates. Of course, you can also rent a car, but we typically stay on property when we're at Universal, so we've never done that. So what we typically do is like, we just price compare Uber and Lyft. Um, whichever one's cheaper is the one that we're gonna go with. We haven't found one of them to be necessarily better in any ways than the other, or no. faster getting here. Right. Like both of them, you generally wait like, I don't know, five to 10 minutes for them. That's a it's about right. So it is currently 9.34. We will update you when our lift gets here, and then we'll see how long it takes us to get from the airport to Portofino Bay. Another thing that we wanted to mention is with that All-Star Shuttle, you actually have to book that in advance. Like you right. can't show up at the airport and then be like, hey, Universal, <laughs> come pick us up. It doesn't exactly work like that. Um, like if you're booking a vacation package, it'll pop up, but you can also just call Universal and set that up, and I think you can do it online yes. as well. So yeah, we just wanted to make sure that you didn't show up at the airport and we're like, <laughs> we'll just call Universal. So something that's kind of funny is our flight down here is generally, they listed it like an hour 55, but it's generally like an hour and a half. And once you get in the car, it's like only 20 minutes or so to the resorts, but that 20 minutes, it always seems like a lot longer than the flight. I don't, I guess it's because we're like ready to get there or whatever, but yeah, like it, it's kind of weird. You get in the car and it's, I mean, it's like 15 miles and we just traveled, you know, 600, 700. <laughs> but this 15 miles takes way longer. to Portofino Bay. It is 10.09, yeah. so it took us about 25 minutes to get here from the time our Uber picked us up. So that's a little skewed. Um, he took a couple of wrong turns. Yeah. Um, he got off on like an exit too early uh -huh. and had to do like a U-turn. <laughs> we hit traffic off that exit. And then even when he got up here on uh, Universal Boulevard, yeah. Another wrong turn. <laughs> it should have probably, like, it probably cost us seven or eight minutes. So, like I right. said, 15, 20 minutes is about, it's about normal. <laughs> like, it, it's never that bad. But now that we are at Portofino Bay, yeah. the next thing to do is get checked in. We just got into the lobby of Portofino Bay, so we're gonna go ahead and get checked into our room. There are actually two different options for the check-in process, and one of them is mobile check-in. So about 24 hours prior to your reservation, you'll get an email that allows you to click a link and go ahead and check into your room. For some reason, we didn't get this email. I don't know if it got filtered into spam or if I just overlooked it, but we didn't have the chance to do that. Um, it does save you a lot of time because there is a separate line. It's basically like an express pass for the check-in process, but we're gonna go ahead and head to the regular check-in line and see if our room is ready yet. So as you can probably tell, we are, um, we're still in the lobby <laughs> and that's because our room wasn't ready. We are here a little early and I don't think check-ins till four, so not a big deal, they will take care of you. So a lot of you are probably wondering, if you get here and your room's not ready, what do you do with your bags? <laughs> and they actually have like a luggage service where you can just go check your bags, and whenever your room's ready, just go get them and take them up to your room. 
Also, you can get your like passes, your annual passes, your tickets, whatever right. you need here. And another question that we get a lot is like, okay, so I'm staying at a premier hotel, we're at Portofino. I want my express pass. Like I'm here early, I want my express pass. I want to go to the parks. That is fine. They go ahead and give you a room key. It's not assigned right. to a room at the time that they give it to you, but that is what's going to act as that express pass. As far as figuring out what your room is, the way this works is when you check into your hotel, they'll ask you for a phone number yeah. and they'll send you like a text message where you can ask questions and things like that. Yeah. And then when your room becomes available, they'll send you a text and let you know what your room number is. Yeah. And those room keys that they already printed for you that are your express passes will work for that room. Yeah, also something to keep in mind, like that number that they give you when they text you, you can just use that to ask for like extra towels, right. make reservations, at some of the like dining yeah. options here. You can use it for a lot of things, so take advantage of that. All right, so we got checked into our room, yeah. we got all of our luggage dropped off, and now it's time to make our way to the parks. It is currently 1042, so it's been about an hour since the Uber picked us up at the slow. airport, but it shouldn't take you as long to get all that stuff done as it did us because we are recording while we yeah, do it. Yeah, I mean, if you're vlogging as well, it might take you. No, never mind. <laughs> if you're vlogging, it's probably still going to take you less time because we're just not that good at this. But yeah, <laughs> we went ahead and got those room key slash express passes. And we're about to make our way over there and jump on a few rides. So of course, once you decide that you are going to head to the parks, you kind of got to make a decision on how you're going to get there. There are a few different ways to get from your resort to City Walk, depending yeah. at which on-site resort you're staying yeah. at. If you're at one of the three premier hotels, which are Royal Pacific, Portofino Bay, or Hard Rock, there are three ways to get from those resorts to City Walk. They have the water taxi, the walking trail, and then, of course, the bus option yeah. that all of the resorts have. Uh, Sapphire Falls, as well as, I think, Adventura and Cabana Bay also have a walking trail, yes. whereas Dockside and Surfside just have that bus option. Yeah. We have decided to walk today from Portofino Bay to City Walk. Yeah, it's like absolutely beautiful. Like we're standing in the shade and it's a little cool, which is like <laughs> one of the first times I've ever said that in wow. Orlando. Like it's not cold, but it's it's cooler than what we're used to. Um, also, first day, our legs don't hurt yet. Our feet aren't terribly sore. Yet. So yeah, eh, <laughs> yet being the key word. So yeah, we're just going to walk. But we do typically either walk or take the water taxi yeah. rather than taking the buses that drop you off at the main gates of City Walk. And the reason for that has to do with the lines for security. If you take the buses, you get dropped off where everyone that goes to the parking garage does as well. Yeah. And those security lines can get very backed up. With the water taxi or the walking trail, you do have a separate security entrance, yeah. and sometimes that can save you so much time. So as we're walking over here, we did want to mention that I think Portofino Bay is supposedly like the furthest premier hotel away from the parks. Right. I think that's what we've heard. Like we've talked about, Hard Rock is five minute walk at most. Yeah. Uh, Royal Pacific seems like it's like eight to ten. And the lady in there said if we walk fast, we can get there in 10 minutes. We'll, we'll actually like kind of time it, see see how long it takes us to get over there. And like, I just want to know because <laughs> we have heard people say that Royal Pacific is like a 15 minute walk and it's never even been close. I mean, on the last day of the trip, maybe, <laughs> well, we're maybe, but yeah, like, so we, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how long this takes and let y'all know. Okay. So we did want to mention, uh, we are already passing Hard Rock Hotel. And here's the butterfly garden. So the path keeps going this way, but the butterfly garden's right here. And this is actually like a little shortcut. You can walk right through here and you'll come out on like the trail on the other side, but it probably takes, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds off of it. At least. And we're, <laughs> we're all about saving that yeah. time. So uh, Anna, do you recognize what's behind us? I, you probably don't. <laughs> Probably have no clue. Yeah, yes, I do recognize this. That's where we got married. Yeah, this, like, right here is where we got married. Do you see that sign out there? I don't know. It's behind her head. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, <laughs> that sign right there. Yeah. Um, we were pretty much set up yeah. real close to that. Like, they have, like, something covering it so it wasn't just obvious, but 
Yeah, right here outside the Butterfly Garden is where we got married. Also, when we were in the lobby, Tyler mentioned the ticketing counter where you can get your tickets and annual passes and all of that stuff. We did want to specify that you can both purchase tickets there. So if you don't already have them, you can go there and buy annual passes or single or multi-day tickets. And then if you've already purchased them online, you can also pick them up and all you'll need is your confirmation number and a photo ID. I was just kidding about Anna not knowing where we were back there. <laughs> of course she's gonna remember the best day of her life. And your life. I'm just gonna be honest, we're getting really close to security. There is no way that is a further walk than Royal Pacific. No. Like it's not really even close. Like honestly, we got to Hard Rock in like three minutes. And as soon as that happened, I was like, hey, wait a second. <laughs> the math doesn't add up. Like, I may not be great at certain things, but I can add. Yeah. And three plus like a five minute walk, that's like eight minutes. And I would say you'd be hard pressed to get from Royal Pacific to the parks in eight minutes. Yeah, I agree. I think this is definitely a shorter walk. And I actually think it's a little bit more shaded. So this was extremely enjoyable. And it's, and it's beautiful. Like, yeah. it's at, like, honestly, it's probably the most beautiful trail up there by Portofino. You yeah. got the views of the hotel, all that little like bay area or whatever. Yeah. It's it's gorgeous. All right, so as you can see, we are through security. The globe is just behind us. I do want to mention like security from the hotels is so simple. Like yes. we never wait. No. Any amount of time. Like I've seen like four people in front of us once and it was just like, oh, <laughs> this is going to take all day. No, no, seriously, like it's not bad at all. If you have a chance to stay on site, there are so many benefits, but like security is honestly a really big one. Also, we did want to update you guys with how long this entire process took us. So it is 11.15 right now. So it took us about an hour and a half. Again, we are going to be slower than you are, <laughs> yeah. but that's a pretty good estimate for about how long it takes to get all the way from the airport into the parks. And we did want to mention, I mean, we already sort of said it, but uh, yeah. The walk was less than eight minutes. Oh, yes. Um, it was like right at eight minutes. So definitely shorter. And we even stopped and recorded. Yeah. Like we stopped and recorded in front of that place that Anna remembers so well. So yeah, definitely the, sh it's definitely shorter than Royal Pacific. So yeah. Royal Pacific is now, <laughs> now has that title of being the furthest premier hotel as far as walking goes. But with that, we are excited to go ahead and get into the parks and ride some rides. We've got some friends here with us uh, that we haven't seen in a long time. And honestly, they haven't been here in a long time. So we're excited to do some things with them. And we have the Orlando Informer meetup later tonight. So yeah, we've got a busy schedule. But with that, we are going to end today's video. Leave us a comment in the comment section and let us know what is your favorite Premier Hotel. If you enjoyed this video, give us thumbs up, begin at that subscribe button and turn on that bell notification so you get an alert every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching.